a construction company builds a swimming pool with a perimeter of 56. The length of this swimming pool is 10 meters more than the width. And our goal here is to find the dimensions of the pool. So I'm gonna start here by sketching myself a little picture. So we'll say, this is our rectangular pool. And we'll let these two sides be the width, and these two sides are our length. So we'll indicate that they are equal. So we know that the perimeter of this pool here is going to be the sum of all of our side lengths. So we have the width plus the length plus the width plus the length here. So we can say that the perimeter right, or the sum of the side lengths is going to be equal to We'll label it as P. P is equal to, we have two widths, so two W plus two lengths. And we could even simplify this. We can factor out that two and say our perimeter here is equal to two multiplied by W plus L. Okay, so let's, let's think about what we're given. Again, we have that our perimeter is going to be a total of 56 meters. So we are given that P is equal to 56 meters. So we can even take this one extra step further and set it equal to our general perimeter equation and say that two multiplied by W plus L is equal to 56. And then we can actually simplify this one more step and divide both sides here by two. So two divided by two becomes one and two is going into 56 28 times. So we can simplify this and say the perimeter, the general perimeter equation is going to be W plus L is equal to 28. So we'll box this up for now. And then the other thing that we're given here is that the length is 10 meters more than the width. So we've already labeled our, our lengths and width up here. So we have that the length is going to be equal to, so L is equal to 10 more than the width. So this more means that we're going to use an addition. So we have 10 plus or 10 more than our width. So we'll use these two equations here, our length equation and our perimeter equation to solve for the dimensions. So I'm gonna go ahead now and substitute the length, or L is equal to 10 plus W into the perimeter equation and then we can solve for W. So again, our perimeter equation was W plus L equals 28. And we're now going to replace this L, this length here, with our length equation. And we can rewrite this as W plus 10 plus W is equal to 28. So we have two like terms here to combine giving us 2w plus 10 is equal to 28. And now we're ready to solve for the width. So to do that, I'll subtract 10 from both sides of the expression. So 10 minus 10 will leave us with 0. So on our left-hand side here, I have 2w is equal to 28 minus 10 gives us 18. And then dividing both sides here by 2, 2 divided by 2 becomes 1. And we have a width is equal to 18 divided by 2, which is 9. And then we don't want to forget our units. So our width is 9 meters. So now we can go ahead and we'll substitute this back into our length equation to find the missing dimension. So we're now going to substitute 
the dimension w is equal to 9 meters into our length equation. Right, so our length is going to be 10 plus 9, which leaves us with 19 meters. So therefore, the dimensions, the final answer is going to be our dimensions here are 9 meters by 19 meters.